So, Chuck, anything been eating you lately? So many things. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if we have time, you know. <laughs> I did recently see a thing about Planet X. Planet X. Which I was very disappointed to find out had nothing to do with Malcolm. This can't be widely known because I don't hear people talking about it when they talk about Planet X. Right. So I'm going to give you just some backstory here. All right. William Herschel accidentally discovers the planet Uranus. We knew about Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. There it stood right. for like millennia. He discovers Uranus. It's, it's a beautiful paper. Nobody had ever discovered a planet because all these planets were like known to the ancients. They're all visible in the night sky to everybody. Makes sense. Caveman right. knew about the, pl the planets. Right. Okay. Anybody freaks out because, oh my gosh, there's more than five there's planets. More than five. All right. This is late 1700s and he's Brit. So, of course, he named it after his benefactor, who was the, oh, the king. The king. Yeah. King. Which king? Uh, the, George. Of our Declaration of Independence. That's right. Ultimately, clearer heads would prevail, and it was renamed from George to Uranus. Uranus. Yeah, Uranus. 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 Okay. Which, by the way, is a much better name. Than George. Than George. <laughs> okay. And even better than Uranus. So we're watching Uranus, All right? And we're getting a segment of its orbit because it's far out. It's not moving very fast. Right. These things take a long time to go around the sun. Even though we only had a small segment, we said, hey, its path is not following Newton's laws of motion mm. and gravity. Mm. So someone suggested maybe we finally found the limit of Newton's laws in the universe. Newton, you. May you dope. Dumb, you dumbass. Dumbass <laughs> Newton. Should have known. No, no, maybe they only apply to like Earth and the moon and Earth and the sun and right. inner planets and the sun. That could have been. Then someone said, maybe Newton's laws do apply, but there's another planet out there we've yet to discover whose gravity we have yet to reconcile in these equations. Which is, if you just discovered one planet, maybe, maybe there's another maybe one. Because that cracked open the egg. The planet egg, right? right? Right. So, some French mathematicians and uh, Le Verrier was one of his names. Le Verrier. Le Verrier. Le Verrier. Uh, Laplace, I think, had a hand in this. Okay. And they communicated this prediction to an observatory in Berlin. And Johann Gottfried Galle, G A L L E. Okay. How you pronounce that? Right. Practically that night, he discovers Neptune. That's pretty wild. That, 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 the power of math, the power of Newton's laws. Right. Okay? Okay. Science. Science. Neptune is moving. Okay? So we're now in the 1800, 1846, something like this, mid-1800s. All right. And all right, uh, let's follow its orbit. Right. We do that. It's not following Newton's laws. We've been down that road before. Well, there must be another planet. Must be another planet. Of course. Okay, let's start a hunt for that planet. That started the hunt for Planet X. That's it. So people said, we've done this before. Let's predict. Right. Just do the math of La Verriere. Look over here. Do, and this, it should be there. Sure, but it was not there. Uh-oh. Maybe it was hiding from you because you are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so the hunt for Planet X was like this massive planet. It was a planet hunt like none other. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Percival Lowell. Of the New England Lowells, <laughs> loved astronomy, mm -hmm. was not formally trained, but he he had money, built an observatory, the best one in the world. He, wow. he was the first to figure out, put the telescope on the mountaintop Mount, okay. above the low cloud layers where it rains, and, and put it in the desert. Right, where so, it's dry, where it's dry and, and not a lot of clouds. And not a lot, even when you had clouds, it ain't a lot of clouds. Right. So he found a mountain in Arizona. Okay. okay, where else are you going to put it, right? Arizona. There you go. Found a mountain, built an observatory. Finest optics, finest everything. The observatory is called? Uh, the Lowell Observatory. Thank you, the Lowell Observatory. He initiated the search for Planet X. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know. Yes. Instead of choosing where to look, he starts a systematic survey in the plane of the solar system. Okay. A photographic survey. Now, how do you discover a planet? It has to be 
a dot of light in one photo, then in another photo, it is moved to a different spot. Right. Yeah. Okay? So he initiates this, brings in Clyde Tombaugh to conduct the survey. He dies. Mm. Sorry. Because it was boring as no, hell. No, no, no. <laughs> Lowell dies. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I yeah. thought Clyde died because it's just like, all I do night after night is look up here and wait for a dot this, of light. This, this is going to kill oh, me. Oh, it's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, this is going to kill me. <laughs> 1930 is the announcement. Planet X discovered. Oh, by the way, it got named Pluto. There's a dot in one photo and it's moved to another place in another photo. Mm. He would joke about this. He lived uh, into the 1990s. He would joke about this. Hey, uh, Clyde, how did you discover where Pluto was? He said, oh, I looked up in the sky and there was an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you show the slide, right. there's an arrow, there's an arrow pointing, pointing to it. Yeah, yeah. He persists with this being Planet X into the 1990s. Mm -hmm. Well, how big was it? What mass was it? They assigned it the mass that Planet X would have to be to perturb Neptune in the way we discovered it. Right. Even though it wasn't anywhere where the right. prediction said it was gonna be, right. they said, fine, it's out there, Planet X, we, we good, right. we good. Okay, over the decades, we find out it's not as big and not as massive right. as they said it was. A lot we, of ice, a lot so of, ice. A we lot found, of reflection. We, we found a moon. Smaller than it was. We, we, we found a moon. Its mass was like one fifth the mass of our moon. And along comes an astrophysicist named Neil deGrasse no, Tyson. No, and says, wait a minute. <laughs> there needs to be one more nail in this coffin. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I was an accessory to the demotion. I didn't pull the trigger. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So in the 90s, it got demoted. He died before it was officially demoted. Mm -hmm. They might have just. That would have killed him. But <laughs> So, thank God. <laughs> yeah, so it was not until 2006 where Pluto was officially demoted. But we took it out of commission here at the Hayden Planetarium when we opened to the public in the year 2000. We plucked Pluto from the ranks of planets and put it with the other dirty ice balls being discovered in the outer solar system uh, you, where it belongs. You make it sound so derogatory. No, okay, well, with the other ice ball. filthy ice ball. <laughs> <laughs> little dirty ice ball. <laughs> It's happier there. Right. It's now the king of the comets rather than the puniest planet. Anyhow, uh, it is so small. It's got so little mass. It can't possibly be Planet X. Okay. A researcher named Miles Standish asked a question. What are the observatories that obtain the positions of Neptune leading us to say that it's not following Newton's laws? It's multiple observatories over decades. And so he goes back and analyzes them. One of the observatories was the U.S. Naval Observatory. Okay. And he goes back to the observations and finds out something like the gearbox was cleaned or oiled or something. Somebody did something to the telescope before those observations were made. Mm. Anytime you do something to a scientific instrument, you have to calibrate it. He said, what would happen if I ignore these measurements and fit the orbit to the remaining measurements that are out there. When he did that, Neptune landed right on Newton's laws. What? And Planet X evaporated overnight. There was nothing with a mass and gravity that was perturbing so, Neptune. It was bad data. So Pluto's mass had no effect on no Neptune effect. No, at no, all. No, no, nothing. Didn't no, make a difference. Didn't make a difference. What Pluto did one way or another. Correct. And I'm saying, when you're a scientist on the frontier, you don't know what is accounting for the anomalous results you're getting. Is it a new law of physics? Is it something else that is correct laws of physics, but is influencing you in ways you don't yet know? Right. Or is there something wrong with the data? So Planet X is a centerpiece to this much longer, larger story here yeah. about the plight of science on the frontier. And so I just want you to appreciate what scientists go through. I do. On that frontier, just to understand how nature works. Yeah. And the data are not always correct. Right. And and guess what? And then everything else is off from that data. And off from the from from yeah. those data. Well, you have my understanding, but I also understand you killed Pluto. No, stop. That is not the takeaway of this <laughs> session. Stop it. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, there's been some evidence that there could be a much larger planet out there, right. which has been called Planet X. Right. Um, it's not affecting measurably the known planets, but it's because it's so far away. But there are other objects orbiting where Pluto is. There might be some uh, anomalies in their orbits right. that could be explained by a, an object so far away you can't see, you can't it, see it because it's too dark out That's there. That's what I read. It was supposed to be a wandering planet. We're getting... As a distance, 10,000 times the Earth-Sun distance. So it's way out there. Way out. So possibly, but the the historical case of Planet X is solved. All right, we got to call it quits there. All right, that All was right, great. Chuck, a little bit of Planet X. I love it. You I got love it. it. All right, this has been Star Talk and Explainer Edition. As always, keep looking up.